You must be Dvorak. Yeah, um, uh, well, Dvorak, huh? I had thought this area was, well, uh, off limits. You're not Dvorak. Well, um, since we're being blunt, well, no. Then who are you? Such a rush you're in. Hmm. Fancy some tea, do you? Lambert, something weird is happening. I'll say. What do I do? The old man seems harmless. Indulge him. See if he knows anything. Reminds me of poor old Jiggers. <laughs> oh, Jiggers. We hardly know ye. Who are you? What are you doing here? Oh, well, one might ask you the same. I'm looking for a man named Dvorak. Ah, Dvorak, yes! <laughs> well, you're not going to find one. <laughs> this way! <laughs> yes, here we are then. This is Dvorak. Jesus. I think I just figured out why you couldn't hack in here, Grim. Uh, yeah, no kidding. What the hell do I do now? Uh, hold on while I find a slide rule. See what the old man knows, Fisher. Okay. This is Dvorak. Who are you? Um, I am Dvorak's keeper. Thank you most kindly for asking. And what is this? Dvorak is, well, you likely wouldn't understand. I'm sure you're right. But let's have it for the record anyway. Dvorak is a mechanical representation of a self-referential axiom of number theory. Dvorak encodes its own logical structure within its own executable cycle and recursively derives a more accurate representation of itself with each successive execution. Right. Grim, did you get that? My god, it's an infinite state machine. Fine. What do I do? If Zerkezi is using this... Grim! Sorry, uh, Sam, we're gonna need a copy of Dvorak's output so we can work out the algorithm it's built on. How do I get its output? It runs on punch cards. Punch cards? You'll need to restart the sequence and initialize each tower in the right order, and then retrieve the output stack. How do I know the right sequence? You'll need to hit the switches in order as the tubes start to heat up. Ask the old man for help. I need your help. Indeed. What can I help you with, my good fellow? I need you to help me initialize the Vorak so I can retrieve an output stack. Ah, Dvorak. Well, that is certainly something I can help with. <laughs> Why don't you restart it? I'll initialize the towers on this side, and you can do the other side. I got the stack. Good work, Fisher. Time to make yourself scarce. Get to your primary extraction point. On my way. Eventually, Dvorak will derive the answer. But eventually is a very long time. I've seen these things before. This is a finite state machine. It is? Yeah. Looks like Dvorak is just the encoded image of a 50-year-old scrap heap. No wonder I couldn't hack into it. It doesn't even speak the same language. 
I'm going to try and reinitialize the machine and retrieve an output stack for analysis. Gotcha. All right, I got the stack. Fisher, judging by what we just saw, I think that's an infinite state machine, not a finite state machine. What's the difference? This one is self-referential. Each output stack is a logical instruction set that tells the machine to recurse itself and derive a more accurate set of instructions for the next execution cycle. Fascinating. Can I go now? Keep my eyes wide open. 